Hi guys, it's Ertsi here with another episode of Walking Dead Part 2 uh, Start for Help. Um, we'll just continue where we uh, left off last time. Um, some of you just wanted to see some more Walking Dead, so here we go. a favor. I need you to handle the rations today. That's all you giving out? If we're gonna make what's left last a week, then this is all okay. we can spare today. I was hoping that it's I... It's not gonna be enough for everyone, but just I do what you think is right. I won't have to do this, but it seems like I have to. Either way... Oh. This is not good. Apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. What were you thinking bringing him here? Even if he lives, we aren't going to be able to take care of him. It's what your husband wanted. <sighs> Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. Well, uh. you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okay. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Okay, let's see. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe we just left Mr. Parker there. I tried. I really did. I just ran out of time. Connection There's lost. nothing else we could do. Connected. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The guy in the truck is Travis. He played in the school band with me. Mr. Parker was the band director, but... God, I can't believe we left him. Get over it. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. He'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. Relax. We'll get no your friend back you to normal in no douche. time. I sure hope so. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine. 
I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay. You take good care of it then. I will. Okay. Yeah, if you guys don't know who that Clementine girl is, I just ran across him on the part one. And his parents were out of town and this girl was all alone. So um, I introduced myself to like his nanny or babysitter. So, well, that's basically the story behind it. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I think he'll be fine. Oh, that's good. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Okay. I think I should give some food to Clementine. How you doing, Doug? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Doug. Bye, okay. Lee. Okay, exit. Let's talk to Carly. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Oh yeah, this um I choose to save this this girl girl at the part one and one guy died. Instead of him, so Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh. That can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you. If he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do. But whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Back okay. a bit. Exit. Okay, let's check up with Kenny. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. Okay. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Okay, so I I suppose the guys are leaving at some point. Okay, let's see. I think I still have three people to um, talk to. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now, and it's working. For now. Yeah, but you don't have any food. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well... We'll just have to find some. Keep an eye out. Well, exactly. I will. Okay, let's check on these two guys here. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <laughs> Cranky old fart. Hey, 
Will the kid make it? I don't know. You know it was an accident, right? I didn't mean to shoot him. I know. It was crazy back there. Kid acted stupid. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military stand. I have no idea no what this guy's going this place. I you can't remember it like when you guys picked me up. One. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Well, what did she want us to do? Just leave a couple of teenagers to the walkers? That's exactly what you should have done. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I don't know. Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. <laughs> Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. You are always cranky. And... A little thank you would be nice. <sighs> You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. <laughs> Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right! There's too many people hanging around here <laughs> as it is. I'm not surprised. Okay. Keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. Shut up. Okay. okay. What do we have here? It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Okay. So, I'm thinking I'll... I'll stop this part, uh, like part 2, or episode 2 right here. And, um... I'll let you choose. Which one... Uh, I should give the food. I have four pieces and there's ten people. There's this Katya, there's two guys building the fence, a Lily uh, on top of the RV, two kids, uh, the younger, young boy, this girl, and Kenny. That guy there on the couch. So, to whom should I give the food? Just leave a comment below and um, I'll do it on the next episode. Thank you for watching and talk to you later. Bye.